Hey guys, you're watching Chef Wild. You're here with Sean and Katie and Steve. And so now, fishing season's winding down and it's finally time to start hunting. So tonight is the night before archery only antelope opens. So that opens in the morning. It's an archery only tag. Uh, the tag is good for anywhere in the state, pretty much. And it's an either sex tag, but it's archery only. So Tomorrow we're going to get out we're going to see if we can get a stock on some antelope and see if we can get a shot at something. Got our trusty decoy. Her name is Flat Sally. We'll so show her off. We'll show her off. We're going to get that out in the morning and see if they can get us up close to an antelope. So yeah, we're going to cook some dinner and get some sleep and hopefully get out in the morning. Yeah, here comes... Steve's getting Flat Sally out. We'll introduce Flat Sally. We even put a name tag on her this year so yeah. she doesn't her go lost. Call her a name tag. <laughs> if anybody sees her, make sure you call. That's our decoy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we'll see you guys in the morning. Okay, it's 6 a.m. A little after. And we're already out on the move looking for antelope. See if we can spot some. We're gonna put the stop on. Alright. Hopefully we'll be back shortly with some action. Alright, we're gonna slip up over the hill. See if we can get a shot. We've got them over. Way over there by the tree line. It's a little bit too gradual, so you know we can't get close enough before they see us. So we'll find some more with a nice sharp ridge that we can pop over and see if we can get shot. So this is Sally. She's one fine looking antelope. She just drives the bucks wild. She's even got her collar on with her name tag. She's high glass. Got a little bling on. Yeah, she's all decked out ready for the rut. Yep. Sally, she, Sally knows how to shake it. Oh. How do? Okay, we're back. See another one that's probably about a thousand yards out there. It's on the other side of the road where we parked. And Naturally. She's just kind of coming this way, so we're going to... She, he, I don't know, can't tell. Looks like it might be a doe, but... I ain't picky. Antelope steaks, antelope steak. That's right. So if I get a good shot on a doe, I'll shoot a doe too. She doesn't seem to have spotted us yet either. Yeah, we're just moving a little bit at a time. Just kind of going down this little bit of a draw. We don't really have any good way to make a stock on it, so. She's way over there. We're just kind of going to see what happens. Maybe that's the same one. Well, there goes one. We're not sure if that's the same one or not, but it is freaking hauling. That's antelope hunting. All you see is white hairy butts running away all day long. <laughs> Alright, that one's gone. So we're going to go back to the pickup and go down the road and see if we can find some more to terrorize. Apparently Sally needs to put on some tighter pants because she ain't bringing in the men. <laughs> Alright, we're going. Got about a, maybe an hour before dark. We see some down there. The wind's not great, but we're gonna give it a try anyways. So we gotta get going. It's been a week since we were out. Alright, we've got like six of them over the top of this hill. We're just walking down this draw here. up here 
this is a stock that I'm really psyched out of my mind about. It looks like it's gonna be a good one. They're in a good spot. The wind is good. So we're gonna give it a try. There they go. Fuck. Wrong side. Were they standing there watching us this whole time? Great. Here we are. <clears throat> we learned something new today. <laughs> they were right in there, under a hundred yards. We thought they came over the left side and they were on the right side, so we were sneaking while they were watching us sneak. <laughs> They're still over there, about 700 yards. We're off. We need the antelope wizard. That's what disappointed Sean looks like. <laughs> He's got his best girl Sally with him to support him. Sean, Sean, bees, 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 bees. On your boot, on your boot. You okay? Did it get you? Yeah, it got me. You okay? You okay?
hurry. Hurry. He's still by me. We spotted an antelope I'm here with Brian at this time, and we are going to get him. We'll be back in about 15 minutes with our antelope. <laughs> okay, so me and Aaron and my dad, who's down at the pickup still, have been watching the boys, and they snuck up on the top of this little hill over here, over there, and uh, they were trying to get up on some antelope that we spotted from the main road over here. And they got over there, Aaron basically saw the whole deal go down with her binoculars, and it looks like Sean, or possibly Bryant, but I think Sean... No, Sean took the first shot at least. Yeah, so Sean took a shot. They're sitting over on the hill, I'm assuming waiting, because it looked like he hit it, from what Aaron could see from It looked like he did ways. a kick, so I think they definitely hit it. Yeah, so we're just over here waiting. We figured we'd pop over this little hill to see if it happened to be down here, but I think it's still just below where the boys are sitting right now so we're just waiting for them to get up and move before we move that way <laughs> so we'll be on standby okay this is my first antelope first antelope with the bow and all together so yeah he's pretty nice pretty big fork and horn yeah I'm happy with him oh yeah we shot him up there on the hill about 40 yard shot didn't get any footage of that, but yeah, we saw him run down here. He bedded down, so we came around and we got him. So, all right, we're gonna yeah. get him cleaned up and uh, to the truck. Okay guys, so we're back at the house here. Got the antelope home, got them in the fridge, cooling off, and I brought home the heart. I usually don't bring home the heart, but I figured I'm gonna give it a try. So I got the heart here and it's dinner time. Not hard really. Anyways, so we're gonna chop this up and get it cleaned up. And I think we're gonna pan fry it. Either we might just do it plain or I might try some chicken fried. So we're going to get some of this, fry the tenderloins, and we're going to get it fried up. So I'm going to get working on this. I'm going to cut up the heart before we cut it up and kind of cut the center out, I believe. That's what I've been told. All right. So we cut up the heart, cut up the tenderloins, and I cut off a few more pieces of backstrap just to have a little extra food, enough for lunch tomorrow. So I think we're going to we're gonna chicken fry all this. And the backstrap... Or any steaks, if you don't have cube steaks, you just take them and cut them. And I like to take the back of my knife. And you can just kind of cube them with the knife. Not a lot, it just kind of helps the breading stick to it too. So. And with this is kind of like tenderizing the backstrap of an antelope a little bit. I mean, while it's the backstrap, it's still a little bit, it might still be a little bit more of a tougher yeah. cut this also hasn't been hanging it's only been i don't know about a day so 
isn't as tender as if you let it hang for a week or so. But. So for those of you who don't know what we mean by hang, like if you've never hunted or processed wild game, generally after you harvest an animal, you let it, you, you would hang it up in a cool, cold um, place and let it hang for a couple age, days. Age in the meat. Yeah, and it just kind of helps in the tenderizing process. So that should be good. Got a little bit of texture there for the breading to stick to. And so we're gonna get this all breaded up and throw it in the pan. Okay, so I got all the meat in the bowl there. And I took it and I just dusted it with a little bit of flour. And then that's all ready. So after the flour, now we're gonna go, oops, we're gonna go into the egg, coat in the egg. And then I got some just crushed up saltine crackers. And you can bread it in other stuff too. Panko's crumbs are good, but I like the saltines on there. Okay. And then I'm just gonna lay them out so I can put them all in the pan at the same time. All right, so with everything is all breaded, got the oil pretty hot in the pan there, hopefully not too hot. And we're gonna, there's our Chicken fried antelope part, and we're gonna throw that in the pan. And it's cooking. So, we're just gonna get all these little donuts in the pan there. And then we'll be eating pretty soon. So, check back in when this is done. Alrighty, so Sean's got the antelope steaks going, and I'm making our side tonight. And if you're looking for a really great idea to spice up your mashed potatoes, I would highly recommend trying smashed potatoes. So basically, I scrubbed like 10 potatoes, threw them in the microwave for like 20, 25 minutes, threw them all in here, peels and all, mashed them up, and I've got about three quarters of a stick of butter. I've got bacon that I cooked up here, these bacon bits. That's all gonna go right in there. I do them a little extra crispy. We're slightly cremated, as my father-in-law would say. I've got a whole bunch of green onions that are going in. I've got french fried onions that I'm just going to kind of throw a little handful in. A couple handfuls. Kind of crunch them up a little bit so there's not too big a chunk. And all that. And then... I've got some sour cream. I'll throw a couple tablespoons of that in, and then I'll throw in a couple pinches of um, cheddar cheese. Mix it all up, and then we'll be eating this with our cantaloupe steak. Alrighty, so I got everything in the pot. I ended up using more like a quarter cup, maybe a little more of sour cream in there, and then probably about a quarter cup to a half a cup of the shredded cheese. But that's basically what it looks like, and I'll probably throw a little bit of pepper, maybe just a little dash of salt in there and um, it should stay pretty warm. You can always throw it in a bowl and pop it in the oven or something, but we should be eating pretty soon. And uh, yeah, smashed potatoes. All right. There's our golden brown antelope chicken fries. Yum. Okay, so we got our chicken fried antelope heart here. And I just cut off a piece. And Katie's got a piece here. And we're gonna try a chicken fried. So I've never ever eaten wild game heart of any kind. This is my first time trying it. Sean has before. Mm -hmm. I've been good. kind of skeptical, but I'm giving it a try. It's very good. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, the heart's definitely, it's not as tough. You'd think heart would be tough, but it's really not. I think it's good. It's really good. There's not really any kind of weird taste. Just a different texture, but it's... A little bit yeah. different texture, but like more tender than I thought it would be, considering it's the heart. <laughs> Here, we'll try these smashed potatoes. Mm. We've had these before, but mm -hmm. they're very good. Oh. oh yeah. Definitely want to give the potatoes a try if you have never tried smashed potatoes. Basically like a loaded baked potato, but better, because mm -hmm. it's all smashed up into one. Super right. good. Well, we're going to hog out on this antelope and I guess we'll see you guys next time on Chef Wild. Yeah, thanks for watching thanks for our watching. hunt and the cook. And I guess uh, stay tuned. We'll catch you on the next video. Ciao.